Welcome to a video from the thedishlifestyle.com, new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 17025 for Windows Inside on the Fast Ring. This is a Redstone 4 build. This is for the skip ahead uh, option. I think going forward they're going to make the... Um, they're going to move the pre-release ring to Redstone 4, so you, whether you're on skip ahead or not, you'll still get this if you're on Redstone 4. So what's changed in this build? Uh, a couple of new features. The ease of access in settings has been changed. So let's take a look at that. So this is the new screen. There's a few changes. They've grouped things together uh, that relate to each other. So, for example, the... Um, simplify windows and that kind of thing so they've, they've sort of grouped things together and this menu up here on the left hand side is a new and actually looks like it's almost that fluent design is effect is almost in there as well which is the first time I've seen that in the settings with this sort of splitting so that's definitely new to me um, and I think that's probably how settings are going to look going forward into Redstone 4 another one is uh, with the startup they've um, in the last build, they introduced an option to disable apps from running in startup UWP apps. So over in apps, um, we've got the startup option. But they've had an option to show what tasks it runs. So I haven't got an app there that shows up here. But it, you have got the option to go into the advanced settings on an app and uh, have a look at what it actually runs at startup. So you can configure it. Um, so there's more control over that as well. Uh, other changes, there's done some changes with the font, uh, the, for the Chinese font, uh, I'll skip that for now. Uh, they've improved the Fluent Design, if you've already seen that um, in, the, in, in the settings, but I think they've changed some stuff, up, like with the backgrounds on Calculator, uh, maybe I can show you that. Uh, they've, they're, they're sort of uh, using the new SDK, they fixed an issue with the RDP, when certain GUI, uh, GPU configurations, you might remember for previous builds that there was a bug when you were connecting with RDP. They fixed some issues with UNC paths and Japanese the, um, input language. They fixed some issues issues with uh, with mini mode, like in Groove Music. And there's um, initialization fixes, and there's a whole a bunch of fixes. But nothing stands out. But uh, yeah, these are all minor fixes to the to the OS and I'll include a link to those on there along with the video on the digitallifestyle.com so you can go and have a look at those. Known issues. Well, there are some known issues in this. If you're experiencing broken functionality, mail Cortado narrator or missing features in Windows Media Player, see the feedback hub. But this is a bug that's carried over from previous builds. So there's a link in the uh, video um, notes that will take you to how to sort that out. They're using swipe gestures with touch to dismiss actions in notifications. Not currently not working. That was in the previous build. And there's some screen flicker when using uh, touch pad or touch key or hot keys with the virtual desktop and some issues with gaming um, with the gaming bar as well. I'm just going to see if the Windows update bug has been fixed. Let's have a look. So when it's not just Windows Update, but any, some options in settings. If I tap with my finger on this check for updates, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I know you can't see that, but I'm tapping the screen. It doesn't do anything. If I click it with the mouse, it does work. So there's still some issues uh, around touchscreen uh, drivers, I think. Okay, so that's all the changes with this build, 17.025. You can see more on... Um, some more videos on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com. You can email me in at digitallifestyle.com. I'll I stick on Twitter. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you on the next build video.